Hi, it's Alex here. Welcome back to my channel. As always, here to talk about sewing and I'm back in the shed today because it's Friday the 1st of May and that's got to be me made May. Um, to be honest, it sort of snuck up on me. Um, I think a lot of people um, are finding like I am that all the days are rolling into one and we don't even know what day of the week it is. Uh, apparently it's Friday. Um, so a couple of days ago I suddenly realised that Me Made May was coming and it coincided with, as I said I was going to do, I did a big swap around, took all my winter stuff out of the wardrobe and stored it away. Not everything, obviously, I mean this is England, it's not like we're going to ever not need jumpers, but all the big thick heavy stuff has been put away and I dug out everything that I was wearing um, last year in spring and summer. and. Sure enough, there were lots of things that I had made and lots of things I'd forgotten. Um, so I thought, actually, that kind of works with me, Made May. I'm going to make an effort to go through those things. Um, some of them I might need to alter a little bit. Um, and some of them are probably too summery for just yet. But I'm going to have a think about how I might be able to wear a kind of more summery kind of dress, even when it's not. Um, as hot as we would like it to be. Um, so I have decided, I've taken a bit of a kind of leap of faith I guess, and I've decided that this year for Me Made May I am going to wear Me Made clothes every single day. Where I can I will try and make the entire outfit uh, all you know things I've made but you know don't hold me to it. Uh, I might have to put the odd thing in just for decency sake. Um, anyway, so that is my plan and I'm going to pop on here and uh, show you what I've made every few days, maybe every day, I don't know. I'll see how it goes. So to kick things off, I thought I'd show you what I've made this week. I started uh, the week by making some scrubs. I made, I think, three sets of scrubs and they've gone off to, I think it's a local care home. Uh, but yeah, then it was time to make something for myself. and. I have wanted to make the Yanta overalls from Helen's Closet ever since that pattern came out. Um, but I have definitely procrastinated, um, mostly because I don't think I've worn dungarees, as we call them in the UK, um, sort of ever really. I I'm sure we've all done it. You can see a pattern and you get carried away with it and you think it's going to be marvellous and you spend ages sewing it and then when you go to put it on there's nothing wrong with it, it fits you, it's marvellous but you think yeah there's a reason I've not been wearing dungarees or whatever it might be, it just doesn't suit me or it doesn't fit the way I live my life or I just don't like them. So I've been umming and ahhing about it for quite a while uh, but with lockdown and as I said last time I'm definitely wanting to get up and obviously get up but get dressed every day uh, I just kept thinking dungarees must be really cozy and comfortable there's nothing going to pinch you or anything I'll give it a go so I had the fabric already I think I talked about it in a um, fabric haul a while back I bought it in Leeds uh, when there was the Leeds meetup what's it called is it called Sew Up North so yes I think it is called Sew Up North um, and I bought it there from B&M Fabrics and I have to say B&M Fabrics um, are in Leeds Market, they have a stall in Leeds Market and they also have a shop, they've just moved premises or they did before lockdown. Um, they don't have an online shop but they do have a Facebook page and they have been absolutely marvellous during this whole Sewing for Scrubs business. They have had a huge range of poly cotton fabric for scrubs in all sorts of different colours and they have allowed people to order by sending direct messages through Facebook and bless them they have covered the cost of the postage so when I ordered um, 50 metres of fabric you know I think that would have cost quite a lot they covered that uh, you know for postage or delivery they covered that and you know, they are a family-run small business and I know they've been absolutely inundated with requests for scrub fabric. So that must be actually costing them quite a lot. So, you know, kudos to them. 
absolutely brilliant and marvellous to see people all pulling together. Uh, but anyway, that, strangely enough, is where I bought this denim from. I really, really have enjoyed making these. Um, maybe it's a welcome distraction, uh, distraction from uh, scrubs, I don't know. Um, but if anybody's made anything um, from Helen's Closet, you'll know that the instructions are fabulous. They have every bit of information you could possibly want in there, including uh, solutions to fitting problems and um, the diagrams are great. Honestly, they are so good. But at the same time, you know, sometimes when instructions give you every bit of information, it's presented in a way that it becomes just all a bit of a jumble. Not with these, they are just beautifully clear and I really, really recommend them. Um, certainly to anyone that's a beginner or, and starting out. They also come in a fabulous size range, um, you know, right across the board and I think that's got to be encouraged. You know, we come in all sorts of shapes and sizes and we really should be supporting the pattern companies that include all of us, all our friends. Um, so completely completely loved making them I have to say. It gives you instructions for making them with a side zip if you need it and without. I went without because why do a zip if you don't need to and I didn't. Um, size wise I chose a size 10 now that's going to be an American size 10 not a UK size 10 that would be a UK 14. Um, I was probably somewhere between the size 10 and the size 12. You know, your measurements are often across a number of different sizes, aren't they? Uh, but I went for the 10 because she provides the finished garment instructions so I could see there was going to be plenty of ease. And um, yeah, I didn't want them massively oversized. I was a bit wary of that. Uh, and honestly, I am absolutely thrilled to bits with them. I'm, I was worried about them being a bit kind of unflattering around the tummy but to be honest maybe it's because it's black but to be honest they look like I haven't really got a tummy and that is not true. I have. Um, I mean even side on look hello flat tummy. It's a big fat lie but you know I like that. Um, yeah really 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 love these dungarees. Um, I wholeheartedly admit that I am looking a tad children's TV presenter, uh, which I am far from. Probably because I'm wearing it with a stripy top, it is a bit children's entertainery, um, but I'm gonna see how they work with uh, all sorts of different things. So you might see these a few times over Me Made May. Um, at the moment it's a bit chilly outside we seem to have lost the good weather so at the moment um i've got socks on with them because uh, yeah it's not quite i'm not quite ready for bare ankles and i'm not sure if i don't think i'm going to get all of me in um i would say that at full length they are above my ankles and um oh gosh good morning everyone it's actually almost 12 o'clock but it's time to get up. Fresh baguette in the kitchen. See you shortly. <laughs> that is how we communicate with our teenagers. And let me just reiterate what he just said. 12 o'clock, they're still in bed. Um, <laughs> anyway, I'll be quick because obviously there's a fresh baguette in the kitchen. Um, yeah, so uh, I think in better weather I'll roll them up and... Um, bare ankles and I might even you know if I get really carried away I might even put some fake tan on but I will yes I will be wearing them fair bit through me made May I'm gonna pop on and show you how I get on um, throughout the month the only thing that I struggled a little bit with making them was at the back where you have the crossover um, and there was nothing to do with the instructions. It was more to do with the fact that I've made them out of a fairly heavy denim because that little section on the back, uh, there's a lot going on under there where you're, when you're putting your facing on and it was just a little bit thick and cumbersome. 
if you were making them out of something slightly less heavy, uh, that wouldn't really be a problem. And uh, it was okay, it was just a bit fiddly. The top is the Mandy Boat tee that I made fairly recently and the fabric was from Fabworks that I had in my stash. And I will be back soon to show you whatever I'm wearing for the rest of the month. There will definitely be new things in there and I'll definitely be making some new things. I want to, I found that when I was putting um, t-shirts on underneath this, what I found was that anything very baggy kind of didn't really help the overall silhouette. I needed something that was quite fitted. And a lot of the t-shirts that I have made do seem to be quite loose. The ones um, that are the, what's that pattern, the Stellan T, uh, they seem to be quite loose. And I wanted something that was a bit more, um, yeah, fitted. And by coincidence, I noticed that I've got membership to Seamwork magazine and you get uh, a credit every month towards a pattern. And I noticed that uh, one of the patterns for this month is exactly that. It's a scoop neck fitted t-shirt. So this morning I went on to use my credit for the t-shirt and then like a complete numpty, instead of selecting the t-shirt, I selected uh, some trousers because the model with the trousers was wearing the t-shirt. Anyway, I have emailed customer services and explained that I'm an idiot and hopefully they will allow me to swap it. I think it's called the Orlando tea. So I certainly intend to make that because I think a couple of those um, will go with these dungarees, but also the sort of thing you'll wear every day. So I will be making new things um, because, you know, it's the cliche, isn't it? Me made may shows you where you've got holes in your wardrobe and what you might need. Um, so, before I go off to have my, it's not really breakfast at 12 o'clock is it? Uh, before I go off, let me just say what I didn't show you was that this arrived uh, probably a couple of weeks ago now. That is the um, spring update from Lulu Designs for um, their Swatch Club. Um, as if you're interested in that, I'll put a thingy for the Swatch, Swatch Club video. Uh, but it goes on what colour season you are and no prizes for working out I'm in autumn. So uh, the seasonal kit that you get has four swatches and uh, mine are all fabulous, I have to say, one of them I already have. Um, and that is this one here. I, uh, it's called Scribble. Um, I, it's a viscose predominantly, I bought um, some of that on somebody's D stash on Instagram uh, a little while ago, so I've got some of that in my stash, so yeah, clearly I love that. Um, there was also this, which is a really fab, lightweight cord, um, I mean, look, definitely my kind of colours, um, perfect for making a jacket for this time of year you know like a little uh, almost like I was thinking a denim style jacket but in this would be pretty fab so that came and it is so nice to be able to feel them you know that's what's brilliant um, about having these swatches and um, this is an absolute joy to feel this is a 95% modal jersey and I love that colour I'm beginning to learn to love pinks but a lot of them absolutely wash me out and make me look dreadful but this I think would work beautifully so that's fab and then lastly there's this one which is called Marmoset for obvious reasons and how fab is that it's a viscose that would make such a great dress uh, for you know the better weather and um, when I last looked because I was tempted to buy some when I last looked it sold out but I bet they get some more in um, anyway so I forgot to tell you that that had come and that's me done uh, another fab sewing bee this week and I will be back probably in a couple of days I don't know don't want to make any promises that I can't stick to but I'll keep you updated and I'll see you soon. I hope everybody is going to get involved in Me Made May. And you know, just because I'm doing every day, you don't have to do that. You can just commit to doing your best. 
or say, well, I'm going to wear something once a week, or I'm just going to go through the things that I've made and have a look at it. Or some people choose to go through things and make alterations. It's a no pressure challenge, but it is quite nice to focus your mind. And it's quite a good time of year to do it when we're at that changing season. And uh, obviously lots of people are at home at the moment. So uh, I'm not gonna say stay safe. I just did say stay safe. Anyway, it's become a bit of a cliche now, hasn't it? Look after yourselves. I'll be back and I'll see you soon. I'm off to have a coffee and a baguette. Bye.